love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored on this beautiful sunday night and hoping the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family just thank you for taking the time out for yourself being able to embrace your gift uh seeing it more of a blessing than a curse so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings and love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me so if you can drop a couple of lines even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and hitting you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video gave you some good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend or even a fellow impact they're going through some really dark times and need validation or confirmation towards their life path or their life purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for for the um the support and the love and vibes that you've been sending me is so greatly appreciated and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today this beautiful meditation i'm listening to uh, is called 528 hertz music for the soul letting go of stress mu uh, light music for tranquility harmony for self-healing oh y'all you know we all need some of that in our life you know i'm trying to preach but it's like we do need to have meditation in our life especially it's just like when we dealing with people on an everyday basis see i'm a homebody i'm an introvert i don't really interfere with a lot of people but still you know even if, when your mind process you know i still you know accumulate and consume other people's energy just from being in the neighborhood so you know we need to have meditation in our life at least on a daily basis even if it's like 10 minutes 10 minutes you just need that you know that personal time for yourself to be be able to wash all those energies out of you that you consume out of the day you know if you can do it even 30 minutes to an hour you know we we should have that in our life but anyways today my video is about twin flame 101 everyone goes through a lot but choose to grow through it and that is so true it's just a, we should not be focused and you know and there's times i used to really be like that be focused on all the negative situations that happened to my life being able to fuss and complain this and this and that but it's not really doing anything to fuss and complain about everything you've been through you know if it's not bringing no prosperity to your life positive vibes giving you an elevation or sending you to some something more positive you shouldn't really talk about that <laughs> you know and it's just like you know i used to be that negative nancy you know to where it used to you know they're like oh you know all she gonna do is complain about what's going on in her life you know i don't want to talk about that because you know it's just like you know you can be an energy vampire and i used to have to apologize to a lot of people because i went through a lot and i just focused on every day about going through that and there are sometimes i even get through you know have some bad situations that happen in my life and i'm really trying to change that to where you know thing does happen you know not every day is going to be perfect not every every day is going to be sunshine and roses and you know tiptoeing through the tulips and all that junk but you you can choose to grow through it like okay if you can sit up here and, you know, at least put out five different things that positively happened to you today. Like, you know, even though you might have had a situation where you and your kids bumping heads or, you know, you and your boss are bumping heads, you and your coworkers, you and your friends, you know, siblings or whatever. But what kind of positive things did happen to you you know if we stay focused on negative energy that keeps us at a low frequency and i you know so i'm learning that every day you know so it's just like when i say something to y'all i'm working on it myself as well because it's like we do need to see that positive aspect in our life because it was just like you know uh when i go through things it's just a blessing when you know god and universe is sending that vibe to you for you to realize you know things happen every day you know there's sometimes i you know i just like wish i was in a better situation where i was you know in a different space than i am now but I, you have to be able to live for that moment you're in this situation at this certain time for a reason either things happen to you for you to change the outcome or 
things happen to you for you to be able to grow from the outcome and we really need to do that it's just like i always used to say oh i wish i was at home you know i wish i was with my dad and oh you know these situations happening you know and i really just wish i out of this situation but you know i can't ever get out this situation unless i can appreciate the things that this situation has taught me you know it's just like you can be in a bad relationship and you can be in a situation where you know I, i'm dealing with that myself but my situation from my relationship has really taught me a lot it's really had me look at it in a different aspect i never wish i never went through that situation because that situation has brought me so much strength being able to know that i don't have to have that same kind of vibe my ex has you know um hoping he can heal from the things that he's you know going through you know because it's just like when narcissist people narcissistic people go through things and they tend to bring that <laughs> energy out on you you have to be able to break that cycle and not allow them no nobody can do anything to you unless you allow them to so it's just like you know there's times that he he tries to pull me in the storm i gotta pull up my piece like hey, i ain't even trying to deal with this today you know whatever you got going on leave that there you know i ain't got nothing to do with that or you know it's just like you know there's some pessimistic people that they feel so unhappy in their life they try to make you miserable as well so you know they say you know miserable loves misery loves company me if i'm in that situation i don't want that, somebody else in that situation with me so it's just like when i feel that type of way like i tell y'all if i'm feeling some type of way and I, my energy all crazy i'm not gonna come to y'all trying to you know fake that funk like everything is okay you know and bringing out the energy towards y'all because even if i try to you know you know uh cast myself and try to cover that up some of y'all gonna be able to see through that you know because there's time i did it before I'm like oh rosalyn you, you know you feeling heavy today are you all right i'm like Ugh, dang i'm trying to be positive and they still feel this stuff that's going on so i just choose not to do that but it's just like we have to be living like i was watching like i told y'all from my first video i was watching my favorite mentor off of facebook because i got trent shelton i listen to all the time jay sheedy i love that man that man has brought me to so many tears i said that is my goal one day to meet him because he has helped me through a lot you know allowed me i mean there's just certain things he's saying in his videos and i'm like oh that's good content and i write that down and it's just like he will really have you looking at things in a different perspective being able to be grateful for every moment of your life whether it is something that brought negative situation to you or a positive one because either way whatever came to you you still got a lesson out of and it's just you have to be able to choose to grow through it you know if you can sit up here and he said like if you can go through a whole day without complaining about anything you know you choose to you know you choose to uh allow a negative situation to affect you if you allow it to set up here and it's like okay this life that happened you know and then sometimes with us being in that human form we're a spiritual essence put in a human form so it, it's just like when we allow our human side to consume us about complaining about this and this and that, that this and that happen you can allow to let let that situation teach you a lot of things you'll be able to look at things a lot different because it's just like when you complain about a job there's people out here that don't have one you complain about your family and stuff like that and there's people who don't have any because it's just like when i see people complain about things about their mom and their dad and stuff like that and it's just like i would want to come to tears i said if this is some petty stuff let that go my mother uh, i said i love my mom there are so many days i wish that my mom was here even though that was my adopted mom that's the only mom i ever knew you know i don't have my you know biological mother in my life you know she has spiritually blocked me you know because that's a painful situation that she had to, to do to give me up so my mom chose not to be in my life anymore even though i you know i've connected with her she chose not to have that and i have to respect that so you know i wish my mom was here and you know i had a biological dad i never had a chance to have that connection with him but there's people out there complaining about the fathers they have in their life. You know, if they're like a deadbeat, I understand that. If they don't want to be in your life, I can understand that. But you have one that you bumping heads with. And if it's petty, let that mess go. Because <laughs> there are going to be days when they're going to pass on. And there are going to be many a days you wish they were here for you to be able to fuss with. So you have to be grateful for a lot of things. Now, if there's something you can fix in your family that is just like really petty, fix that. 
you know, if you have a job and you complain about their, you know, I ain't got one. <laughs> but it's just the fact is, you know, this is my job. This is something I do every day. You know, there's times I, you know, I look for jobs, you know, went on interviews. It just ain't happening. <laughs> it just ain't happening because, you know, universe saying this is what I need to do. This is what, you know, your job is right now. Other things that comes into your life is a blessing, but this is what we need you to work on right now. You can go ahead and look for the jobs all you want to. You know, there's jobs I was just trying to take just to be able to, you know, survive and being able to take my part of the household. But, you know, that wasn't working out for me. So there's things that, you know, we take for granted that people wish they had every day. You know, so you got to be be careful about what we complain about. You know, there's times I wish I was living in a different place, you know, but there's people out here living up on the bridges where it's hot as heck outside. It's hotter than fish grease right now. So I got to be grateful for the fact is I live where I live. You know, want a better car. There's people out there walking and wish they had the little car I got. You know, so I got to be grateful of those things. But it's just like when we have experiences happen to us, you know, universe sends it towards our way. They don't see it either as a negative situation or a positive one. But it's just the fact is you, you can find the positivity throughout every day. You know, even if every day you either can choose to live it negatively or you can choose to live it positively. Because there's a lot of, I have friends that, you know, they, they always talk about, oh, I ain't, got a, I ain't got a girlfriend or, you know, I got this sickness and I got this and this and that. But what are the good things that you got in your life? We already know all these pessimistic things you got in your life. But is there anything good that's going in your life? You have to try to find the goodness in every day. You know, yes, there are some people out here that have to deal with uh, illnesses. Yes. But if you live your life to the fullest and not allow... You know, there are certain, well, I can say there are certain people that got certain Ill illnesses. But if you can have that, if you have an illness where you can still be mobile, you can still breathe on your own, you know, you might have to go through many treatments. You know, I, I've had cancer before, so I know it's no fun. You know, I didn't have the, where I had radiation and chemo, that God didn't bless me, bless me with stuff like that. But I know what it felt like to take a thousand some pills, having everything tastes like dirt to you having thousand or one layers of clothes on and still freezing I can sit up here and say that was like a living hell to me but I'm blessed to be able to say I've no longer got that I'm living good you know even though I'm not living the best life I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do the things that I'm doing and really having my situation looking at you know what things aren't as bad as you think they are you know if you can see that you have everything you got right now that you have everything you have right now if you're able to drink eat have clothes on your back, have a roof over your head, being able to have a car that goes back and back and forth, you know, that's pretty good. You have your main essentials. You know, just work on the other things you have, but be blessed with what you have in your life now. Being able to grow from every experience that has entered your life, whether it's bad or good, because it's just like I said, universe, when they send you those vibrations, they don't see it either bad or good. They're just sending you vibes. Like, when I have little things that come in my life, I try to show the universe I'm so grateful. There's times I got pissed off and said, oh, well, I wish I got a little bit better than this, you know, but these people want to, I had to stop that real quick. And so it was this universe, we look like, well, dang, I gave you this little bit and you ain't even grateful for that. You know, that's just how, like, if your parents give you something, it might not have been what you expected, but you have to be grateful for what you got because that's maybe all you needed to have right at that point in time. So you have to be grateful for everything that comes into your life whether it's good or bad, because all of those situations has taught you something. So allow yourself to grow through the situation instead of going through it. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Like, like, like and subscribe. Drop me a line. Hit that notification bell. You know, um, give me a post, notica no, post notification shout out to Diamond King of Passive Restraint Productions. Much love to you. And this video is already 14 minutes long, so I'm about to cut it short. So much love to you. Peace and be wild. <laughs>